WBSD Local 6, your breaking news and weather authority. This is Local 6 at 5. It's the story that just won't go away. Inflation, you've seen it just about everywhere. Groceries, gas, pretty much everything is more expensive now than a year or two ago. And recently, we've told you that key factors that fuel inflation are fading. So why aren't you seeing relief? Well, that's because things like cheaper freight costs and other expenses don't immediately trickle down to you, the consumer. That's in part because supplier contracts set prices for months in advance. It's to protect the companies from unpredictable spikes in prices. Back in the early days of the pandemic, Americans were spending more money at the same time that factories and ports shuttered temporarily. That led to stores and warehouses struggling with out-of-stock merchandise, most famously things like toilet paper. The surge in demand and limited supply contributed to higher prices. Now, the factors have reversed. As Americans feel inflation, they're buying less. The latest casualty of inflation, as you probably know by now, eggs. The price has more than doubled in just a year. Now, people are getting creative to find solutions. Border authorities say there's been a rise in attempts to smuggle eggs from Mexico into the U.S. The director of field operations warns that trying to cross with uncooked eggs without informing a border official is illegal. They could cost you up to $10,000. You may be getting creative, too, to find cheaper solutions. Local egg prices are covering around $5 a dozen. Some local egg farmers are seeing an uptick in customers. And for one three-year-old, business is booming. Yeah. Local 6 is Jasmine Youngblood visited her coop today. She joins us now. So Jasmine, how did her egg selling business start? Todd, it started as a hobby for three-year-old Aubrey Jo Toon and a lesson in hard work from her mother, Bridget. Once egg prices jumped, calls came nonstop. Friends asking to buy dozens of eggs from Aubrey Jo. Bridget saw an opportunity for another lesson, making money. 13 hens, one rooster, and five ducks. They're all the responsibility of Aubrey Jo too. On that list of daily chores, collecting eggs from her hens. Okay. Aubrey Joe's mother, Bridget, says selling them wasn't the goal. We just eat them or give them away. We didn't really sell them. Uh, we've even donated a bunch of them to the school. They have the pantry outside, and we take a lot from there. Then demand Now, more than 13 chickens live here in this coop where little Aubrey Joe sells their eggs for about $3 a dozen. At prices much cheaper than the grocery store, the hens can't lay them fast enough. Oh, we have a list of people that want eggs. And the demand doesn't stop there. Bridget says several people are asking about farming eggs themselves. Everybody thinks, oh, I'm just going to buy chickens. But it's a lot more to it, and it does cost. On the low end, for coop, chicken feed, and other materials, Bridget estimates a $700 investment. That doesn't include the chickens and the care they require. you got to make sure it's clean, you know, and food, water, I need scratch drain, oyster shells to help harden the shells on the eggs. So it's a lot of work. But for Bridget, the investment is worthwhile. I'm teaching her work ethic and, you know, she's getting to keep all the money from it because she does all the work. If you are considering raising chickens of your own, it's important to know the regulations for the city you live in. In Paducah, you can own as many chickens as you want. Roosters are allowed, and it doesn't require a permit. But again, the rules vary for different cities. Todd? Jasmine.